welcome back to my new video today i want to show you how to fix 7890 button on this phone so this is a button phone right now let me on the phone and show you that 7890 button is not working okay this is techno phone this is not itel 2160 check this out it is not working engineers for me to solve this there is what we call open circuit open circuit is one of the things that cause these buttons not to work open circuit means when a straight wire cut is no more connecting directly again and this can be under the ic or inside the phone panel so for me to solve this issue i need to first of all use my multimeter to read after checking everything i will know where the problem comes up i hope everybody here know where 7890 button jumpers are after reading the 78 jumper buttons if it is not reading just know that the problem is from the ic direct ic i mean under the ic it is not connected again engineers i recommend before you start the work please do this first take your time carefully remove some components here engineers listen to me take your time carefully remove some components here like the speaker the touch light right check this out okay so when you're done check this out you remove this heat zinc this is where the problem is and the solution that i want to show you now is the universal solutions i call it universal because it works like magic yes it works like magic engineers make sure that you peel this off and you carefully remove the heat zinc engineers take time to do this you can use your blower hand blower any type of blower that you have to carefully remove this check this out can you see the way i'm moving my own with no errors so carefully do this engineers engineers the next thing is for you to carefully remove it you can use your soothing iron now to remove it engineers i recommend you use all your working tools do not follow me to do exactly the same that i'm doing right now because me i know how to remove this in a professional way for your own i recommend you use working tools right so that you can remove this perfectly check this out let me remove my own now and show you check this out i'm done i'm done check this out i remove it perfectly i remove it perfectly check this out i remove it perfectly engineers check this out the next thing is for me to start the work let me show you what to do so that you can fix it engineers there are so many methods you can use to fix 7890 button so today i'll be showing you this universal method that works very easily to anybody that wants to fix this type of issue right this method will work very perfectly very great for you but note this engineers listen to me carefully this method will not work for life i mean this method will not work here this phone gets well listen to me this method is only temporary use if you want to do a permanent fixing you want to fix the 7890 button permanently in this phone you need to do ic reboiling that means you need a rework station you need a stainless steel you need a reboiling paste which, which is the liquid paste and you also need a, a sodium paste right Listen to me, engineers, you need working tools for you to be able to solve this. So today, I will be showing you the universal method that works temporary. If you want to do that one that works temporary. For the one that works permanently, the video is coming very soon. Engineers, for me to do this, I need to first of all apply paste. Check this out. Let me apply paste. Check this out, engineers. Make sure that you apply paste. What I'm going to do here is call IC packing, right? I'm going to make sure I apply something to press the IC to touch the open circuit for the button to work. So what you understand. So first of all, like I said, I apply paste and apply lay because I want this to touch the heat zinc very well. Check this out. Engineers, take time to do this. Do not rush. Take time to do this, engineers. Do not rush. 
Okay? Do not rush engineers, just take time to do it. When you take time to do it, it's going to last very long. But if you just do in rushing mode, I don't think it will last for you. So take time to do it so that it will last for you. Because I want your customer to enjoy your services. Okay. So check this out. Engineers, check this out. Here, yeah. lead just bridge to a capacitor. So I'm going to remove it now. I hope engineers, you know how to remove any lead that bridge with other components. It's very simple. You can just apply paste. Take the soldering iron to that place. And it's going to remove itself without time wasted. Engineers, check this out. Let me show you. Okay, now engineers, let me do exactly the same to this one by putting the lid around. Check this out. Make sure you do this first before you start the work. Make sure that you do this first before you start the work. Do this first before you start the work, engineers. Do this first before you start the work, please. So that your work will last very long. Okay, take time to do this, engineers. Check this out. So let me scratch this place so that lead will be able to touch it. Lead will be able to gum it. Check this out. Engineers, make sure that you scratch it. Take time to do it, engineers. No rushing. Take time to do it. Check this out. Okay, let me bring something so that I will put it so that this iron will be able to stand itself. Okay, let me start applying lead. Take time to do this, engineers. No rushing. Take time to do this, engineers. Please do not rush. Take time to do this. No rushing, engineers. Take time to do it. Okay. Have you seen the way I'm doing my own? So take time to do it, engineers. Okay, check this out. The next thing is for us to bring paper, strong paper. Let me show you, check this out. Make sure you cut it into the exactly shape of the icing. The CPU, just cut it into the exactly shape of it. Take time to do it, engineers. Take time to do it. No rushing. Take time to do it, engineers. Okay, cut it exactly shape as the way the IC is, just cut it exactly shape of the IC. Take time to cut it, engineers. Don't rush. Just put gum. Put gum, engineers. Take time to do it. Engineers, check this out. I don't want to rush this video. I want to take time to do this video so you will see from the beginning to the end. Engineers, check this out. Okay. Cut 
what is the exactly shape of the icing. Check this out, engineers. You can see it's perfect. As you can see, it's very big, so remove one. Okay. Now let me test this too. Okay. It's okay now. So let me press it and see. Please make sure that the paper kicks the heat zinc. I hope you understand. Make sure that the paper kicks up the heat zinc so that when you press it too late, the paper will press the IC to the phone board, right? So that the open circuit will now work very well, right? So that the open circuit will now connect the wire so, so that the button will work. Okay, start the learning process. Be very, very careful. Take time to do this, engineers. Take time to do this. No rushing. Take time to do this, engineers. Take time to do this. Okay. Take time to do this, engineers. Okay. Engineers, no rushing. Just take time to do it so that you can do your work perfectly well. Okay. Engineers, so let me show you. Let me show you what you will do. Engineers, check this out. You have to lay it all around, right? You have to lay it all around. So let me lay my one and show you now. Engineers, check this out. I'm done. Check my own. I'm done. So let me use my chemical to clean it. I'm done now. I'm done. Just take time to do this, engineers. No rushing. I'm done. I'm done. So let me brush it. I'm done, engineers. Engineers, check this out. I'm done. Okay, so let me test it and show you guys. Engineers, check this out. So let me put battery now to test. Check this out, engineers. Check this out. Check this out, engineers. Engineers. Okay, so let me wait for the phone to on. Let me press it now. Engineers, right here you can see it works. It works like magic. It works perfectly. Check this out. It works perfectly. Guys, all the buttons works perfectly. It works perfectly. You can see 7 is working. It works perfectly. All the buttons works very great. It works perfectly. The hash button works. 0 works. 9 works. 8 works. 7 works. 0. All the buttons works perfectly, guys. All the buttons works very great. So let me clear and start again to press it. Let me clear. Okay. Let me start with 8. You can see 8 is working. It's working perfectly. So let me know what you think in the comment section. I love you all. See you in my next video coming soon. For the one of the IC reboiling, is coming very soon, engineers. So don't go anywhere. It's coming very soon. I love you all.